first ever episode of Mass Talks, and today we're super lucky because we get to chill with Felix the Cat Potney. Felix, thank you so much for having us. Not a problem. It's a pleasure. So, we just have a few questions for you about Mask. Yep. And we're going to take the occasion to pick your brains a bit. Yep. Do you have one of the most iconic masks for us kids in the 90s when we were growing up? For you, did you have any goalies that you idolized? Uh, not really. When, when, when I was a kid, the goalies were, were wearing helmet and, and grill, but, but there was one goalie that I liked the way he sported his helmet and his grill was Billy Smith with, uh, with the grill sticking up in front. But uh, I kind of grew up where the masks were, were getting started, so I never really had one as a kid. There was no artwork on it? Like, no, no, it was straight uh, blue with, with, with the grill sticking out, but uh, I remember the grill how it was sticking out. So you led the way with one of the most Iconic mask and mask art. Yep. I gotta ask you, who came up with the original design? Uh, it was Greg Harrison uh, that was doing the mask back then. He was out of Toronto and, and he came up with the ID. At the time, there was a play in Toronto, like Cap, Cap's right. play, and that's how he, uh, he kind of inspired the design. But oh, he made the artwork as well. I thought he was just making. No, no, no. He made the art. He made the artwork. He came up with the ID and. Uh, always uh, stuck with it uh, wherever I played. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's one of the most iconic, most recognizable mask art all the way from the 90s to 2000s. So, like I said, we grew up with these masks as posters on our bedroom, so I'm like super happy to get to talk about it a bit today. And personally, you, you can say the truth, which one was your favorite colors for the teams you played? Which mask of yours? I always thought that he did a great job wherever I played of, of picking up the colors and keeping the same ID, but, but just adding on and, or changing the side. And uh, obviously Toronto was my favorite. I, I really liked the, the job he did with the, the crown and the, and the king's wand. Yeah, that's beautiful. Islanders didn't get to wear it long enough <laughs> to like it. So, uh, but, but I think Toronto. Oh, like the next one, would it? I think Toronto and uh, and LA were, were yeah. the nicest I got. Yeah. And between the two Toronto ones, like the one with the shading, we don't have it here. No, I like uh, I like the one without a shading. The I, classic. I, I always like a mask that there was not too many details and, and they, you can you can stand out from how far mm. compared to a mask where where there's too much uh, stuff on it that you can't really. So tell. did you get a say in like now I want this dial I want no shading on the. Yeah yeah after like he's he's tried to change some stuff but but I had to uh, give the okay or not so that's probably why after Toronto I've never had any shading on, mm. on the other mask yeah. And last question, okay you can tell the truth again. There was many goalies I think in the 90s that had iconic masks. Aside from yours. Who would you say had iconic masks that you really loved? Or? It's, it's hard to say. Like I said, I, I've always liked masks that were easy to look. Like if you think of Martin Brothers' mask, yeah. it was easy to Super identify. Cool. He's always kept pretty much the same thing all his career. Mm -hmm. Curtis Joseph was the same way. So uh, I've never really liked this when they had too much stuff on it. So you don't it. like what's going on right now? Maybe. Nah, it's, it's, <laughs> well, not that I don't like it. It's, it's a different style, but it's just, I just think there's there's a lot of things and it's I, hard to pick up from the It's distance. too busy now. That's what I think, yeah. And so, the goalies, they change their mask too often, so you don't have the time to look. I guess I was more of a old school kind of guy that always liked it, uh, to keep the, the same design and then keep it pretty simple. But at the same time, I thought it stained out pretty good. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Felix for talking to us for a few minutes. Not a problem, pleasure. Always a pleasure. Take care.